this design it is for um, HVAC engineers with electrical knowledge. Um, this is a commercial kitchen ventilation system with uh, differential pressure switches and uh, gas valve uh, interlock. As you'll see this system, the differential pressure switches will only activate the gas valve interlock when uh, the fan it runs. So let's see how things work now. As you'll see on this control box, you press the switch on. When you press the switch on, first the fan starts turning. So when the fan will reach the appropriate speed, it will create a pressure difference before and after the fan and these differential pressure switches will sense that difference and uh, then will uh, enable the automatic gas valve so as you'll see how is it working as, as long as the fan is working the differential pressure switch will sense one differential pressure switch will sense the difference before and after the fan and one will sense the positive pressure after the fan into the duct and then they will send the input back into this controller and then the controller will enable the valve and then uh, you can use the oven safe safely so let's bring a little bit closer this control let's see how this control work you will see this type of box but there are many other type of boxes you can uh, vary the fan speed etc and this is uh, my design so but there can be many design so how this design will work if you look in the right hand side to the bottom that's the main switch which i'm going to flick it on right now once i flick that switch just follow this red line it is going to emergency stop but the emergency stop it's activated so the power is not continued the journey so i have life which goes into the emergency stop button it is not going further than the emergency stop button because you know when you press the emergency stop uh, button you should cut everything nothing should be live so let's see we reset the emergency and now the power goes to the main inputs into the relay but the relay it is not activated because if you look to the reset switch from the reset switch there's another wire which is supposed to give power to the a1 of the safety contactor and that's not working once you press that one the contactor is activated and you'll see a lot of red wires come on now so you'll provide power to the differential pressure switch which is on the top and uh, then you'll provide the uh, power to the through the stop button to the start but the start uh, has been uh, activated just now and the contactor which provide power to the fan on the left hand side top it's uh, activated but you see in the middle you have a counter you see that little dot flickering this is a time delay relay which uh, will um, override the differential pressure switches for 10 seconds once the fan reaches speed then um, the um, differential pressure switches will override the time delay relay and uh, it is hard for me to explain very fast what I just did but if you look careful to these drawings and if you look at that video carefully um, over and over again you'll understand the principle of uh, this control how is it working I just try to show you live how the electricity going through the wires so you understand but unfortunately this is not for uh, beginners you have to know a little bit about the differential pressure switches where they use they use into the ducts before and after the fan or before or after the fan you can use one or two or three it doesn't matter how much um, safe you want to make your system you have to know what is a time delay relay and how the time delay relay will uh, override the differential pressure switch and then you will turn off and then the different differential pressure switch will override the time delay relay and that will keep the gas valve open uh, as you will see here uh, now, um, this is the way the uh, control it is wired. So you will see every single cable where is it going. If you will put this image on a computer, because I'm going to make it clearer. Um, 
you can stop the video anytime and you can do some drawings analysis but yeah this is a very simple design this is a commercial kitchen oven with a ventilation system I didn't really focus on how to build this uh, oven and um, the mechanical part of it I was more interested on the electrical uh, ventilation so uh, I, I was more interested in the ventilation side and uh, in the control and how you have to interlock the gas valves so accident will not happen because uh, if the fan will not work the differential pressure switches will not send back the signal into the uh, control and uh, then obviously uh, the gas valve will not be turned on the electronic automatic gas valve will not be turned on and then you cannot use the oven anyway on the top you have um, a kind of um, this is not an alarm, it's just a warning which tells you the status of the airflow. It will tell you if you have airflow or it will tell you if you don't have the airflow because uh, the differential pressure switch will send uh, an input to that uh, warning system. And if you have a healthy system, you will uh, know because uh, you'll have a warning system which will tell you that the system it is uh, okay so um, what can i say that was a very simple design thank you very much for watching this video and uh, enjoy my very broken english it's not only that it's second language but i am pretty tired and i don't know i just enjoy doing this video thank you